All right, gents, today I want to make a short video talking about these uh, Deutsch DTP connectors. They're a high-quality, multi-pin, intrusion-resistant plastic connector that are pretty much ubiquitous if you've ever done any kind of motorsports wiring. Uh, you may be familiar with the DT series, which is the younger brother of the connectors, but I picked up this set of larger DTP connectors just to make it easier for you guys to see on camera. What's really interesting about this connector specifically is that it's actually made by Amphenol and costs less than half of the price of the Deutsch connectors when it's all said and done. Amphenol calls this line of connectors the ATP connector and today I'm going to give you a rundown of the differences and similarities between the Deutsch DTP series and the Amphenol ATP series. Uh, we'll start out with the uh, Deutsch DTP 04-4P receptacle. That's this right here. You can see the Deutsch logo right there on the uh, silicone right on the back. Um, this is a four position receptacle with size 12 contacts so it can hold up to a 10, I think 10 AWG wire and they're rated for about 25 amps continuous per contact. Um, I've already pulled out the seal retainer here and as you can see the Deutsch uses a soft um, silicone square seal. Um, while the Deutsch doesn't list an IP rating for any of their uh, DT series connectors, the three foot water submersion test that they do in house is very similar to the IP67 test. Um, so you can you can kind of just assume that they have they carry that same IP67 rating as long as the project you're doing doesn't require uh, it to be certified as IP67. Now here's the Amphenol ATP 04-P. As you can see the uh, Amphenol uses a similar but this is a slightly more dense harder silicone seal um, and a similar seal retainer. My only complaint is that I did break off one of the legs removing this seal retainer. Uh, I'm not sure if, that, if I caused that through excessive force or if uh, the infernal plastic is just a little bit less ductile. Uh, if you look in there you can see, um, we'll compare it directly to the, the DTP. Um, there are a few more voids where maybe they were trying to save on plastic. I'm sure the bean counters went and calculated the extra wear and, and mold costs against the cost savings of using that little bit less plastic and that's how we end up with those those extra voids you don't see on the, the Deutsch connector which I'm sure contributes to the to the lower cost. Uh, moving the back in the connector you can see Amphenol places their branding uh, in the same place the Deutsch connector does right on the back silicone. They're not hiding the fact that they make it. They're not trying to make you think that you're buying a Deutsch connector when you're not. Um, moving right along uh, to the plug side of the equation, this is the um, Deutsch DTP 06-4S, the mating plug for the socket we were just looking at. And this is the Amphenol ATP, oops, oh boy, there it goes. This is the Amphenol ATP 06-4S. As you can see, the Amphenol has more of the, the same voids we were talking about on the receptacle here and here that are present on the Deutsch. Um, but the biggest thing to me is this locking lever, which you can see right here. The uh, Deutsch on this side does not have this little extra ramp up here. The locking lever on the Deutsch has always annoyed me. Um, it can be hard to grab uh, when you're reaching in a deep place and you're never quite sure if it's all the way down you know when it's facing away from you and you're trying to pull it out and uh, that seals retaining the plug um, so you don't you don't want to break your connector but at the same time you got to pull hard enough to to overcome that seal force uh, the amphenol on the other side on the other hand has this larger um, push button with some knurling on the end uh, that absolutely helps when you're grabbing it at a, like a, a weird angle where you can't necessarily see or deep inside some panel really get a positive grip on the on the plug when you're removing it from the socket um, on the wedge locks the the biggest difference here is is the color um, to the naked eye they are 
damn near identical. I mean, I can actually I'll, I'll pull out the uh, the micrometer here. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm I'd be willing to wager they're within a couple thousandths of each other. It's, this is the the Deutsch the bright orange Deutsch uh, wedge lock, and we're at point oh or excuse me, point four nine three. And this is the uh, amphenol. Is at point five oh oh oh. Very close to one half. Uh, seven thousands is pretty negligible, so we'll call them pretty much identical. Now this is the uh, the pin and socket set. Uh, these are the stamped or, or formed contacts, as uh, as they call them, just depending on who you ask. And um, I'll be honest, I I forgot which set is which. Um, they're so similar. I think if you handed me a mixed bag of the Impenol and the Deutsch, I I wouldn't be able to sort them out. Which is great considering that the amphenol contacts are a full 10 cents cheaper per contact, which doesn't sound like a lot, but you know, when you're buying 400 uh, contacts, you know, uh, it really adds up. Um, I won't bore you with the details, but I've tested just about every combination of Deutsch and amphenol uh, parts between the wedge locks, the rear seals, the cases. Um, and I've never run into a situation where they didn't mate up perfectly and uh, and give me less than one ohm resistance across the uh, across the connection. You're usually around 0.3 to 0.6, um, but I mean that obviously that's including the error within my my meter itself. Um, unless someone requests Deutsch specifically in the future, I see no reason that I won't make the switch exclusively to stocking and fennel products uh, for the at least the DTP ATP line um, they're just as good if not better and I like I said I really like this locking lever a lot more um, so I may as well save my customers some money and make servicing the wiring harnesses in the future uh, a little bit easier Thanks for watching, and uh, please drop a comment if you have something to say, if I got something wrong, or you disagree or agree. Have a nice day.